Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda Part No. Oops, I don't remember what part number we're at, but it's another part and I'm really excited about it And I am just looking at the map right now because we have to go find some poachers um, I don't really know what we're doing there But here. Oh, yeah, I remember I couldn't find something and I was really really upset about it, but whatever I'm over it now. We're going to find poachers So let's go we're on a mission. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, I, maybe this mission is not meant to be. That was a bad start to this mission. All right, there we go. On our way. That looks like Ket Salvage. Be careful, Ryder. Oh, you stupid cat. You stupid cat. And yeah, bye. Um, bye. There we go. It. Piece of cake. I think that's it. I think I have to scan something. What do I scan? Oh. There we go. Scanned it. Scanned it. I don't really know what that really did, but it did some. We'll just pretend like it did something if it didn't actually do anything, but. Where am I going? I'm going over here, right? And I think I just missed it. Wow, I'm such a genius. Look, the cat set up camp. Are they this the poachers? The poachers camp. Something tells me they won't let us stroll in and check. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Arturian, you little bad, bad boy. Okay, is that it? Oh, no, there's more. Oh, like it's actually like legit in here. Oh, they have a cave and everything. Got him. Oh, poor had to steal that one from me. Beautiful. Okay. What are we doing? I've investigated it. What do I do now? Oh, is there more? Is there more cave over here? Ah. It's a long little cave over here. Oh, what's that? Was that ammo? Uh, sure, I'll collect it. Oh. I don't know if I need it, but I'll collect it. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, that's a good person. I'm not supposed to kill them. <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. My people. I don't understand. Jal's gonna be very upset with you. The people I hired shot at you, and you took care of them. I understand that. Now let's talk. You're in charge here. Okay, so talk. You better have a great explanation for hunting Yavara. Your people won't be happy to hear this. So the Angara sent you then. I'm sure they told you the stories. How the Yavara are the only living history we have left. But these creatures might also hold the key to our war against the Ket. Explain. I've been performing tests. An enzyme in the Yavara skin could treat the effects of Ket weaponry. If I'm right, our fighters could heal faster, push back against the Ket. No. Not like this. Creatures are dying. You see? My people would rather cling to tradition than think about the future. You really think this enzyme will work? It'll heal your people? I 
I need to run more tests, but it looks promising. Just let me continue my research for the future of my people. Ryder, I don't know how to feel. I can't make this decision. Uh, I don't know what to do either. Because, like... Uh... I mean... I don't want to hurt animals. Sam, send her information to the Resistance. Transmitting data. I suggest you get off bold before they get that info. You're making a huge mistake. I'll contact the commander. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome. I think this is the right choice. Okay. Well, that's great. Thanks for reassuring me. <gasps> uh, uh, pack my equipment. You freaking kidding me? I died. I can't swim in there. All right. Well, let me just go over here, I guess. Like, is there anything we're supposed to do in here? I just don't want to. Uh, I'm okay. I'm done. It looks like a pretty cool base you got here. Pretty cool base, but. Ultimately, you need to pack it all up. Are you gonna do this all by yourself? I'm detecting below normal temperatures. That sucks. It's a lot of work. All right. Okay. Oh wait, I do have to scan something. What am I scanning? Oh. There we go. Oh wait, I have to scan more stuff. I don't know how to get out of here. I thought it was up there. Where am I going? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, it is over here. Great. Peace. Peace out. Something over there. Little hidden gem. Where is this going? Oh, is this just the way out? Perfect. I'll take it. Okay, there we go. We have done that mission. What's this one? What is this? What is this mission? I don't know. Doesn't have anything to do with anything. So, okay. So I don't. I don't think that I want to go over here yet because I'm pretty sure. On if I mark that, yeah, that's the base. So I think I'm done. I think I'm done, guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna fast travel. No, get out of here, man. I want to fast travel. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. We're moving on to the next part. Okay, uh, no. Get out. Get out of the car. Gotta go. Yep, yeah, it's very seriously hazardous over here. Okay, there we go. We're back in the warmth. Thinking, what's over there? Okay, no. Okay, no. Alright. Hello, I'm honey. I'm home. And now I got to, what do we call it? I got to talk to you. Oh, my friend. Welcome home, brother. Ah, oh, people are welcoming y'all. Okay, what are you doing over here? Ooh, looks fancy. Anything up here? No data pad? There's a data pad. Dear blah. Great. Done. Done with that. I'll take some more of this, I guess. I don't know if I'm supposed to take all that, but... I'll take it. Okay, and I believe this witch. Uh, I already did it. It's already done. Okay, are you gonna be nice to me now? But they have spirit. You broke my fighters out of the Ket labor camp. I had nearly given them up for dead. I apologize if I was harsh when we last spoke. It is hard to trust aliens after what happened with the Ket. I understand. No apology necessary. I understand why you did what you did. Thank you. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? The front line. How are you holding up against the cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? 
You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Thank you. Okay, so wait, is that what we're supposed to do? I like, let me just double check because, you know, there's so much that we have to do. So, wait, no, that's the map. I want a journal. I want a journal. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Slow down, Stewie. Okay, so priority ops. So, call Ephra from the Tempest meeting room. I don't want to call him yet. I feel like there's more we could do. Uh, back. Uh, we haven't even gone to Haval. Haval. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I have to confront that guy. I forgot. When I think that there's... Yeah, okay. So let me let me do... Yeah, let me do some of these assignments. So now I'm going to have to go back out into the wilderness, aren't I? Yep. Oh, no, I don't. He's right there. Oh, Brill. Brilliant. I think he's a sneak. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. An impressive surveillance system. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Dove your cars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Uh, a war with the Kesher. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all Ked operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Tejiks, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ked have occupied. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ked, yes. The largest, Destroyer, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. Tell me more about Astraya. It's the recent focus of Ked attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ked learned that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angara. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angora who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they'd need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ked are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ked camps. The Ked know this and use it against us. A few... Treasure hunters found this map of ancient Vold. They wanted you to have it. We thought we lost this when the Dar burned. Look at that detail. With this map, we could plan attacks through old trade routes, ones even the Ked don't know about. Whoever gave this to you deserves our thanks. As to you. That's perfect. 
I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Thanks. Okay, yeah, brought the map. Okay, so now let's do the next one. Helios, Vold. Okay, what else? Find an outpost. Restoring the world. Activate monoliths. Search cat database. And investigate cat base. Okay, hold on. Let's just look at one thing at a time. Okay, where is this? Uh, find an outpost. Is this the Tempest? Planet surface. Hold on. Oh, it's right over here. Find an outpost. Okay, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, I'm gonna go here. Where's my little nomad? Oh, I'm gonna change this crew out. Uh, let's load out, load out, yep. All right, give you guys a rest. Okay, Jal, put you away. Get some Liam in here. And we'll use Drac. All right, this can be interesting. All right, and let me just, uh, okay, so that's perfect. Can I, like, um, okay, hold on. Yeah, that's good. And then what about me? Skills. Do I have any skills? I do. Oh, wait, hold on. Auto level up. I can't auto my I can't level myself up because I just am I'm just useless. So yeah, I have to auto level. Okay, so what did I do? Oh, okay. It's like what happened? Okay. Perfect. There we go. So this is Drac. Answer is no. You haven't heard the question. 50-50 shot of saving us both some time. Pathfinder. The remnants of the in the landscape ahead. Oh, I'm not interested, you little cat monsters. Ah, uh, that was a lovely, graceful landing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Okay, what do I do? What is to do? It's an outpost. But it doesn't look like there's anything to do on it, though. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go back to where I was. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Drax seems very cheery, doesn't he, guys? Remnant sight ahead, Pathfinder. It could have defenses in place. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm looking for the outpost, okay? You must have enjoyed the Turians falling into the first contact war. Which war? Sorry, kid. I know that was a big deal for humans. But honestly, I've had indigestion last... Est what, what? Establish a settlement on Vold requires a minimum of... Voted, uh, currently vi So what are you saying? Pathfinder, this location could support an outpost, but the planet is not yet viable. You little bitch. So basically, I did all that work to get here for nothing. For nothing. Okay. Okay, what am I doing now? What am I doing now? Find an outpost. Okay, I should have double checked my viability. Uh, activate the mollusk. I don't even know how to do this. I, I tr I'm trying. I'm trying. There's one here. That's the first one that I can activate. Okay. That, I believe, increases viability. I think. I think. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. Whatever. We'll just try it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, yeah, this is the right way. I just was like, this is a trench. Alright, got my six wheel drive and my got my six wheel. Got my six wheel. I'm I'm feeling so fly with my six wheel. Uh, uh, well actually maybe not as fly as I suspected because this is actually a little ridiculous. What am I doing? 
I'm basically going on vertical. What the hell is this? So, if we started an outpost here, would we all live in slow forts? I greeted a temperature decrease. Alright, let's see what we got. I believe this is... Ambient temperature is the same. Alright. Alright. Okay, we have something here, guys. This looks promising. Okay. Oh. It's a scan. Scan. Looks like it isn't filled in yet. Okay, gotta go up that one. This is like a little too hard for narrative, I think. I think I could use a little bit of an easier mode. Like, you know, having not having to jump up these things would be fantastic. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, thank God. No, no, no. No, no, yes. Okay. Alright. This is G. Okay. Okay, I see something. Oh, I love it. I love it. Is that it? Is that it? Is there only the two? Dang it, there's another one. Hold on. Where's the other one? Yeah, yeah. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is there one back here or something? I I swear I followed both of those. Oops. Did I I just did that. I swear that's the Oh no, I didn't do that one. Definitely didn't do that one. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. Oh, I so suck at this game. I just wish I was a little bit better. You know, just a little bit more talented. There we go. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Thank you. All right. So, do I have to do all of them? Like every single one? Oh, that's gonna be fun. Submit solution. Shut the front door. The interface failed, Pathfinder. It appears that was incorrect. No way! I swear that was right. Okay, I gotta try this again. This is definitely right now. I was gonna say, like, there's no way I messed that up. Interface accepted. Okay. Perfect. What's happening? Is that it? Okay. Wait, where are we going now? So I've activated a monolith. The other two are pretty far away. How do I check the planet's viability score? That's what I want to know. How do I know about this planet? Oh, it's 23 still. Okay, so, um, okay. I don't know if I want to do the other ones right now. Uh, reach 40. Okay, hold on. Factor, fiction, search, cat, database. Okay, what's this? What is this? Uh, our good scholar is looking for information. Okay. Oh, wait. This is the tower thingy, though. Ooh, I don't want to do that yet. No, no, no. Not yet. Because that one remove the... Is this the actual thing? Oops, 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 oops. Is that the... Oh, no. I don't know what that is. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to go. Travel. Fast travel to the Tempest. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I'm gonna go to the other Ingara world. Okay. Let's do... Oh. What? Wait, no, wait. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, 
Okay. Per Jal says Ephra is waiting for your call, Pathfinder. Jal says Ephra is waiting for your call. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Well, no, there's so much to do. Okay, hold on. Should I? Not really a holiday destination. No, it's not. Okay, you know what? You know what? Okay, let's just. Oh wait, get out of here. Let's just get out. Get out. Um, exit. 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 I'm picking up something. I wanna. How do I get out of here? It won't let me exit. Oh. <laughs> That's why. Okay, I have to hold it down. I didn't know that. Okay, terminal. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Confidential. Since your liberation of the labor camp on Vold, some information has come to my attention. For years, the cat ignored our work in the frozen city of blah, blah, blah. Searching for details of our buried past didn't seem to threaten them. One day, we must have uncovered something that the cat deemed extremely dangerous. They invaded the city, killing or enslaving our archaeological team and locked it down. Intel from the labor camp seemed to confirm what have, to this point, only been crazy rumors. There must be an accident pre-surge AI locked in the ice in the depths of the city. This explains the prefect's swift and violent move. I've heard that the Ket shun tech like artificial intelligence, and they certainly wouldn't want us to have it. Please keep this knowledge to yourself. Okay. Sure. Okay. Communication from Jao. Pathfinder Rider of the Human Initiative. I've heard privately from Ephra that our leader of the resistance, he's very impressed that we were able to help the op squad on Vold. And I've made sure that he knows that you played a key role. Maybe he's already said these things to you, but if I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've heard a lot about trust. Being on this team, letting myself be open to trusting you and the others, I've learned that trust is more of a feeling than a science. And it seems like it is a universal truth. Universal. Get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. The assignment might have changed my life. Good night. Ciao. Okay. Balanced diet from Lexi. <laughs> Ryder. As part of our overseeing the crew's physical and mental welfare, I thought I'd send along the following tips for a balanced diet. Given the large amount of exercise you partake in each day, it's important that your body receives the nutrients it needs. Carbohydrates, 5 to 11 servings a day. Fruits and vegetables, 4 to 5 servings a day. Protein, 3 servings a day. And fats, 1 serving or less a day. Thank you. All right. Uh, curiosity on Vold. Oh, wait. Well, sorry. No, go back down. Okay, this rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meter that passed through the scourge before falling on Vold, infusing it with similar charge. The presence of Helios native metallic elements within the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I'm unsure of why he reacted the way they did. I've stored it in the lead-lined box it unnerves me. <laughs> Chief Lucan. Okay. Making contact. Heads up. First thing I did after Aya, figure out who to really talk to. Because we all know the one... Oh, wait. Who is this from? Oh, Liam. Okay. Because we all know the ones in charge, they're not on the ground. Jal had some pointers, and I got some names from smaller Angaran colonies. It'll be a while before they trust us, but it's about exposure. I saw it all the time in a crisis response, especially post-combat zones. Low console Verand. Um, if you if you see any messages from her, it's just me reaching out. Costa. Liam has included a list of media-themed first contact. Genres include hard science fiction and an Asari vid about first contact with humanity titled How They Must See Us. Interesting. Turians on Haval. Pathfinder, I'm getting reports that Turian sightings on Haval. Since it's an Angaran world, I was hoping you can check it. I was hoping you could check it out. Apex isn't noted for their diplomatic talents. This needs discretion. Oh, so now you come to me after being such a douche nozzle about my releasing the uh, uh, or unfreezing some of the people, huh? Uh huh. I see how it is. Okay, Ryda, there's a report of Asari refugees on Eos. They made it. 
No, might know about the Ark too. Let's talk when you're free. Okay, for sure. Ryder, the bell tolls for thee. Meet me in the vortex on the Nexus. I'll be the one shuffling the deck of doom. <laughs> Love it. Poker awaits. Man, this is good. We have a lot of good things to look forward to. Uh, okay, what's up, Suvi? The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks. All right, so let's go over here. Is there anyone in here today? No. I'm going to go ahead and change my loadout. Uh, okay, so let's go change my peeps. Okay, so I'm going to go to... I'll go with PB, and I'll also go with Cora. I think it'd be fun to see those two together because um, I don't know if they like each other all that much. <laughs> Their conversations would be very interesting. Okay. Nuh -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly, stop digging. I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. Uh, we both are. Is that all you care about? We both are. I don't have to explain genetics to you, do I? Everyone is one of a kind. <sighs> yes, yes. Assuming you're not a clone. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. Okay, fine, PB. I will leave you alone to your own devices. All right, let's go check in on the rest of the crew. I feel like I should have probably gone check my... I, sh I know it's convenient to check my emails there, but then I never have a reason to go to my beautiful bedroom. You know, so I shouldn't. shouldn't just do that. What's up, Sam? Hello, Ryder. Meeting with Yangara is truly historic. I'll say... My only comparison is Alec Ryder's experience in the First Contact War. A time of uncertainty and cultural misunderstanding. We are arguably in a similar time, yet your encounter was peaceful. I can see what humanity has learned. Love it. Oh. Uh, log off. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Um, I actually do want to go talk to Sam, but... I want to talk to him on the Sam node. I just like that better. You know, you get a nice, good view of Sam. You know, there was a time when Sid was afraid of space. 
We were traveling a lot, and one day she just woke up and realized there was nothing outside the shuttle walls. Happened more than once. She panicked. I'd hold her for as long as it took. She doesn't even remember now. It was only for a month or two. Funny, huh? The things they don't remember. And you feel like it's up to you to hold on to it, or else it's just gone. And there's just something there that you know you're missing. Drat? Just hold on to it. Hmm. Ryder. Ah, uh, hmm. Nothing. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. There, there, these two just don't want to seem to talk to me. Ryder. All right. We can talk more later. Sure. I guess I have to wait for them to split up or something. All right, let's go ahead and read some of these emails. Or is there, oh, there's only one. Yeah, okay. So, a pleasant intoxicant stirred into the hot water or fruit juice. Say, tav, mm, gel. Okay, all right. What's it made from? It's sweet or more like beer. What happens if you mix it with booze? Does it get better or do you cancel each other out? Drag. <laughs> we need to do some scientific tests, maybe with a little umbrellas. <laughs> oh my God, they're cute. Oh my God. I'm. You know, it's funny because um, when you really read the emails and stuff, you really get to know the crew in like a whole new way. It's so much more fun. I'm so happy I started doing that because I didn't know about it for so long. Is the doctor in her lab? Nope. She's like, I'm not going to stay down here. It's boring. There you go. You know? Okay. And you both have biotics. That's how it's said. <laughs> All right, so uh, it looks like PB and Jal are bonding, which doesn't surprise me, you know, because PB is like so curious about them. All right, Jal, what's up? Yes. All right. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. People are willing to die for her. She sounds pretty special. She is. I hope you get to know her. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. <laughs> the Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Well, we're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, 
The essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Well, enough about that. What's your story, Jal? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. I was born on Earth, third planet of the Soul System in the Milky Way. I was born on Haval, uh, our most ancient homeworld. We believe so, anyway. Moved to Aya first chance you got? I lived there because of the Vassal. It's a privilege to work on Aya, so we have a lottery to share it. Aya reminds me of Earth, a little. I'll show you vids sometime. Can you tell me more about the Cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the Ket are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Have the Ket always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Ah, oh, that was so sweet. It's nice talking to Jal. Okay, well, I am going to actually wrap this part up here. I will continue the crew dialogue in the next part, and then we're going to do some other crazy missions. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Bye for now.